great juicy question from Rudresh. Why is Putin so popular among right-wingers worldwide? People call him the Tsar like it's a good thing. Yeah, because, you know, a lot of right-wingers are have this inferiority complex bec uh, and they try to make up for it with this fake um, image of strength, manhood, and toughness. And they feel threatened because things are changing in the world and it's changing too fast for their taste. And they feel like they're losing the place in the world. And this whole doubling down on this identity of being a tough guy and everything, everything else being weak and pathetic and everything else being, I don't know, too feminized and too... Um, they try to portray because they are, you know, extremely weak and a dying breed. They try to act like everything else is weak and they're the tough ones. Right. And then when they see, and Putin represents them so perfectly because Putin is very weak, but he looks and acts like he's very tough and very strong. Okay. Like guys, Russia's entire economy, um, is less than Italy. Okay, I mean, that was before the market crash. Right now, it's probably, I don't know, even worse than that. But anyways, and Russia is losing at every front. Um, but if you look at Putin and if you look at their, the way that the level of aggression, they act like they're still a superpower, okay? You're not a superpower. Stop acting like you're a superpower, okay? You're pathetically weak, okay? And you need to be put in your place. Um, so actually it's a very, it's, it's very, they see themselves in him, right? They see a much stronger version of themselves in him. A, 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 Putin is noticing that they're being made to, from on a world stage, they're becoming less and less relevant when, as a, you know, and he hates the fact that he used to be a superpower and they're not anymore. So he just tries to act tough and to, to, to regain that position. And all these right wingers, you know, especially like, they noticing whether they're like, I don't know, white ethno nationalists or Hindu nationalists. They are they're threat they feel threatened by modernity and they're feeling threatened by the fact that their ideas, their their conservative viewpoints and their values is doesn't have the same place in the world as it used to have. And they think they think like they're being replaced. Um, and they want to act tough and strong and act like every it's very interesting because at the same time they they claim that everybody is weak and pathetic. And at the same time, they're talking about them, all these weak and pathetic and feminine and, I don't know, woke world is very successful at completely put, pushing them aside. So which one is it? Are they, are they strong and, su and successful at like, a, a removing your way of life and your way of thinking? Or are they weak and pathetic and can't get anything done because you can't have both? Okay. So again, so this is their man. This is like their, their main go-to. And by the way, it's not just right wing. I mean, right wing and far right people and far left people like tankies, for example, become so hard to tell apart at some point because I think they deal with the same level of insecurities. So they that's why they they both have this um, desire to just celebrate strong men okay who's gonna come they're they're both anti-modernity anti-democratic and they both be believe in the power of forcing their way they their way upon people who don't know better right so when they see a strong man that comes and forces their way against the wishes of all these people who are just getting everything wrong they celebrate that because they they want the world to just like they think like this is not our home anymore. The world doesn't recognize how things should be, so we should just force them to be that way. So that's why they are so in love with strongmen. I think it's also partially because there have been studies on how people who are orient towards the right wing, orient to orient towards conservatism, um, are are reactive to. Uh, are are prone to fear-based emotions and so if you are someone who um is prone to fear-based reactions you're going to look towards authority 
to help protect you, help provide stability and predictability within your environment and your life. And so this is why there's just this bent towards authoritarianism or one theory behind this. And, um, you know, given that there's kind of this temperamental disposition, um, I think this is partially why you see so many similarities um, across different, different white right wing groups and, and why they, they, they have an affinity for each other so much, even when you would think that their interests are in an opposition, in opposition to each other on a certain um, psychological level, they still like admire that strongmanism, even if they're supposed to be en en enemies. Um, but this question, this comment from Mustafa made me crack up. When you ride a horse shirtless, you're officially a man to some of these right wingers, homoerotic sensitive eyes. <laughs> how desperate, by the way, is that? How desperate, like how- I, I love it, like, it's so funny. I am so mad, look at me, like, oh, look at me finding these historical artifacts just happen to be here, look at me on a horse. Like, it, like the more manly, like these so-called alpha males try to pretend that they are, like the more pathetic and weak they look. There's nothing less alpha than you trying to be alpha, okay? Like, it's like you're just projecting weakness and insecurity. Like, that's what it's, it looks like. It's so weak and pathetic. And you know what? Like, strong men, you just need, it's not your time anymore. You need, All of you, you need to be replaced. Your time is gone. The age of empires, the age of dictators and tyrants, it's over, okay? You guys need to be eliminated, okay? And well, you, it should be over. You, we have seen a yeah. startling rise in authoritarianism over the past five, ten years. I know, and but but that's why the people like Putin need to be made an example of. of, mm -hmm. of like they need to they need to be made they they need to be humiliated. I want Putin to live long enough to see that how big of a mistake everything he did was. I want him to. I want him to become a pariah. I want the world to look at how big of it, like this man that was supposed to be a strategic mastermind. I want him to see what he did to Russia. And I want the world to recognize that actions like this have consequences. I love the photos where they Photoshop Putin to be riding a bear. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.